Hey Bobcat Nation, do you want to see what life is like at Quinnipiac University during the fall 2020 semester? I'll show you in this Quinnipiac Day in the Life. Good morning guys, my name is Emma Morales and I'm from a small town called Kenworth, New Jersey. Uh, I'm going into my third year of the 3 and 3 physical therapy program, so I'm super excited to be able to go to grad school next year. I currently live in the Crescent dorm building with a few of my best friends. Say hi guys! Hi! <laughs> Alrighty, and I actually am getting ready to leave because I have an 8 a.m. class, so let's get going. So because it is fall 2020, you may recognize one of these is a Quinnipiac mask. Um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all of us students are required to wear a mask at all times outside of our, you know, family units, which is why I didn't have any masks on with my roommates. So on campus, I'm actually involved in quite a bit, I would say. I have been an orientation leader for the past two years in a row. I am currently a peer catalyst in an FYS class, which you guys will see more of later. And I'm also a part of the student programming board, more commonly called SVB, which you guys will also get to see later when we set up for trivia tonight. So I'm currently in one of the study rooms at the library, about to take my bioethics class. So this class is completely virtual. We're not meeting in person at all. The professor is completely remote. Um, so every single class we have is going to be online and for this class I think it's actually kind of nice because when we do these presentations we're able to split up into smaller groups at the end and actually able to talk about it versus as in just like one big class. I'm actually going to be going to FYS which is a class that I peer catalyze for. A peer catalyst is just somebody who sits in on an FYS class who's obviously taken it before and wanted to take it again in order to kind of further the other first year's understandings of what it means to like critical think in college. One of my favorite features about the new Zoom classrooms is that we actually have these cool Zoom cart things for students who are remote. So. You may have heard of something called a hybrid course, and essentially a hybrid course is just when you have X amount of people in the class, so in this class we have 20, um, and you can only fit 12 people in this space. So we have 10 students come in on either Tuesday or Thursday, depending on what day, and then me and the professor make 12, and it's a way to keep students who aren't currently in the classroom, they can engage with us via here, so their little pictures will pop up. Uh, like they do in regular Zoom and we'll be able to see and communicate with them. So we really like using breakout rooms in all of our hybrid classes. It gives a chance for the students who are in person to communicate with each other and then also for the people on Zoom to communicate with each other as well. And then once this small like breakout session is done, we'll all come back together. The Zoom people will be back on the main screen and everybody in class will stay in class. I really think hybrid classes are kind of like the future of class. If somebody gets sick, maybe they can pop in like this. Um, but it's just a really cool experience to kind of be living through it. I kind of enjoy it. Now I'm out on the quad, I've got about half an hour before the involvement fair starts and I'm spending some time with one of my best friends. Say hi! Hello! Hi, so this is Evan. Evan and I are on SPB together. Evan, why did you join SPB? I joined kind of just because I went to a lot of their events my first year. I really liked getting more involved in planning the events and I wanted to be a part of that. Traditionally, the involvement fair is only ever on one day and all the different clubs and organizations come together for just this huge like couple hours of um, everybody walking around towards table. But unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, that's not possible. So what we've done now is kind of created a involvement week. So each different like subsection of organizations is gonna have their chance to come out. And today is a lot of the pre-professional types of things. So for example, I'm in the physical therapy club because I'm a physical therapy major. And so they're having a booth out today. So in total, Quinnipiac has over 140 different clubs and organizations. There's a ton of things that you can get involved with from stuff that I do with the student programming board to an engineering club, to a physical therapy club, to acapella groups, to Greek life. There's a little bit of something for everybody. And it's so nice to see how we are able to adapt to the situation, you know, even with a bunch of these restrictions that all these different clubs and orgs are still able to come out and just kind of show themselves off, promote themselves, and to get new people involved. So it's a lot of fun. We're gonna start setting up for trivia. Trivia night is happening down at the South Law. It is one of the few spaces on campus where we are able to hold large events like this because it is, you know, outside and nice, big, and open. I think tonight we reserved around 95 tickets. Uh, so if anybody wants to show up, they're going to have to reserve through one of our new apps, Eventbrite, and it's just a way for us to keep things uh, socially distant. Who was the cartoon character first created in 1927 by Walt Disney himself? How do you guys feel being the number one champs? <laughs> so we just finished up trivia for the night. It was another successful SPB event. Everybody got their prizes. 
Everybody went home, we're busy cleaning up here, and it was another awesome trivia night. So I just got home after a wild day. I think the biggest thing to take away from this day, that even though we are living in a time where things are a little bit different, socializing looks a little bit different, that there are still ways to go out and get involved, whether it be looking at different clubs and organizations in our involvement fair, going out to events like trivia, um, or just hanging out with friends on the club. That's all for me today. Be sure to check out other Quinnipiac Day in the Life videos to see Quinnipiac all for yourself. Go Bobcats!